That, that's the live screen. Yeah. That's just me fucking about with stuff. Right. If you talk about a shot, I'll be hearing it. Mm. I'll change our question. Right <laughs> Sorry? When you talk about it, I'll hear it. I'll switch the camera angles for you. Is this yours? Uh, yeah, I think that's yours. Oi. Yo, yo. Okay. Now it's on. Right. Now. Definitely not on. Okay. Right. Yo, yo. Ladies yo, and yo, gentlemen. Yo, yo. It's uh, Reg Gill in the hot seat, uh, joined by The most Seb electrifying Webb. man in all of 8 Ball Pool, <laughs> Seb Webb. So we have the most prestigious man and the most electrifying man in the same box at and the same time. And if somewhere out there, Seamus Forbes, if you're listening, Seamus, Seamus, he must be having a man right now. Okay, guys, uh, it's Ryan Dodsworth against at Craig Lakin. Uh, we can see your comments, lads. So if you've got any questions or you want to talk about the comp in any shape or form, we're happy to ask you questions. Uh, I'm just going to get them up now, so I don't think... Are these the latest ones, Reggie? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just need to go to the bottom, don't Seven we? I thought that one. case. Yeah, uh, here we go. Yeah, all, go all your scores are on uh, Q score. if you're looking for any scores. Obviously, Ryan's Brock and uh, Reggie. Yeah, I've been telling a lot of people that he's, the mo he's one of the most this improved this players that I've this seen. This monitor is a couple of few seconds behind. Look but at the table over there. And look yeah, at the monitor. No, obviously, this is not right, is it? I don't... Uh, them numbers of viewers can't be right as well. Just a few seconds behind on but the monitor, but yeah, but we can just look at table, Reggie. Yeah, and, uh, I'm just going to say I'm looking at table. He's uh, red into left centre here, and uh, this, is a, this this is a tough match for Craig. And uh, I've never seen this guy play. You seen this, this guy play for? Yeah, yeah, he's entered a lot of tournaments at Murphy's that dark years, and uh, yeah, I told a lot of people in the last year and a half this guy's improved massively, and he was good. But now that he's a real contender, Reggie. Really? Okay. He can really play the game. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, Gareth and Harry. It's going to be a tough match. Well, mate. 100% guarantee you that Corey this will Reed be a tough match. As well. Hi, Corey. I'm not too bad, uh, Gareth. Hope you're well. So he's got to mind his work here. Couple of one good positional yeah, shot here and the frame's at his mercy. I think the black is pass is yellow. Wow. No, I can't believe that the shot. He's can't for believe the chop. that shot. Oh, he stuck it up. He hasn't bodied it. I, I don't. I don't agree with that shot. I think he played the wrong shot there, Reggie. I thought he'd have dropped it in and played the red to the right centre. Uh, do you know? I think it was. I think he's thinking. Uh, it, it's really tough to <sighs> judge these brand new cushions because all, obviously every table and every like cloth, the, they're no all brand new, all. Reggie. Yeah. So it's just you can't trust yourself at minute. And I found myself doing that a little bit against Jordan. I'd, uh, I don't think he wants to play that ball of a pocket because he didn't know where, why we're going to slide to. Playing the back double it's here. It's a bit like that shot it. with Craig there. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's it okay. Nice. It's worked nice. out nice. Jim Brett with us as well. Right, we can't, I can't Gary see Gillies. this. I'm just going to turn it a little bit, Reggie. Okay, yeah, no problem. Gary it's Gillies nice. joined. Yes, uh, I can see it now a little bit better. That's 1-0 to Craig. No time Tom, getting that talking, swag and flow it. going there. Adrenaline. Tom Walker is an absolute nightmare. Tom uh, Walker's had three pints and is a nightmare. Listen, I'm just going to put that out there now. I do not come down his behaviour one bit. Evening, Evening Tom. Evening, uh, Tom Cassidy. <laughs> Gavin Cleary as well. Join I Gavin. Honestly. Uh, Matt Holland as well. Thanks for the use of the Q, mate. Q's absolutely superb. Couldn't have asked for any more. Minute. Zanfish? Is that Zanfish you're about, Reggie? Yeah, that's yeah, Matt Holland. The Q's played, honestly. I just The Q's an absolute dream. I've it's not had it, I've played Craig. that well in a long time. Can people just comment on this microphone and tell me how, if it's loud and clear? Because I can't even hear myself, Reggie. Can you hear myself? 
Yeah, I'm okay. I can uh, I can hear you. I can hear myself. Okay. I can hear you very clear, but I just can't hear myself speaking. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, put the mic a little bit closer to you. Obviously, mouth. if you can hear it, then obviously yeah. you've got the voice for this game, Reggie. <laughs> Cheers, uh, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a part part time that's trying to do a little bit. Mark Paul, who's Tom Walker, <laughs> Adam Capal, Penwell joining as well. Evening. I'm guessing Mark Boyle Boyle knows who. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing Early Mark wrong. knows who Tom is then from your game, Reggie. Is that right? Uh, no, I Tom's think shouting asking, out a little I think bit. He's asking you. No, I'm Britain's guessing that he knows. I do, mate. Listen, Mark. Tom's just a pain in backside, basically, mate. If I could use other words, I would do. But he's basically just anyway, doing an absolute edit. Let's get back to the action. Forget uh, Tom Walker for a minute. Uh, yeah, Craig just ran out of position. This so he's just played a, a safety shot, Reggie. Yeah, he's it, it's honestly it's okay. Sometimes this you've guy's take in the ear again. You've got to take your medicine. Uh, listen, yeah. some people are going to start to get right handers, Reggie. Do you know what I mean? It's all right, mate. Just take it easy. Let's just concentrate on what we're That's doing. That's a bad here. shot again. Ryan's under. It, Ryan's not settled yet. Yeah. Do you know that mistake there? in the first frame? I think the longer this goes on, if it's going to get harder get and harder for him. You know. Do you know what shot he's played? There? He's played to clip that red and plant the other red down the rail and the bolt line, and he's just he's double kissed the red. He's just got it all wrong, and I think that's a culmination of the first frame. Shot, yeah. Put the red in. Seb, your mic is not right. Oh, Thank you. Sure. Reggie, sort it out, mate, before I kick off in this place. Sorry, what's up? Somebody's just put it, your, your mic is not right. Uh, Tom what? Jones, listen, no stupid comments, mate, honestly, because if you keep making them sort of comments, mate, I'll have to get you removed off the stream. My mic's not right, pal. Seb's listen, forgot. A massive a win for Mark Boyle. Yeah. Seb, you put your tights over the mic. <laughs> Craig Black, uh, thanks Turn very much. Turn your mic up, Sebo. Craig's failed uh, on the finish here. and uh, L- Listen, lads, I'm not sure what's going off here. Obviously, these mics have been censored to suit Jenks' voice, haven't they? And he's probably fiddled, fiddled with his system, so me and Reggie <laughs> struggle. <I'm not laughs> what do you uh, think about uh, that one, Reggie? I'm on, well, I'm not. I'm with Seb Webb and the Lightfoot. So Reggie, that do you reckon it's possible that Jenks has fiddled with these mics? I, I'm not sure. To gain I, an I advantage? I wouldn't want to <laughs> comment on anything like that. I'm not here to. I'm commenting oh. on the game, but uh, let's okay. keep it sensible. Right, okay, let's keep it sensible. Let's not mention Jarrell's Jenks. Do you know what I mean, Seamus? <laughs> no, I didn't. Tom Jones, he just dished too many times. Well played, Mark Boyle. Reggie played well, actually, and uh, they were a massive crowd, weren't they? You know. Someone but, uh, tells me fans were scored, not updated in ages. Gary. This is what I mean, pal. I swear to God, mate, I'm supposed to be in partnership with people here, and I'll leave it, and uh, notes happening. Steve notes getting done, basically. How are you doing? But fans have played an absolute unbelievable shot to go 7-6 down. It was snookered, and he's potted a full-length black, and uh, it was a great shot. Craig O'Connor sucked my tail, mate. Don't ever call oh, statements like that, pal. Okay, look, let's keep the sensible there. Uh Ryan Bodsworth in, in the book. I mean, just simple stuff here, just uh, yeah, to get the job done here, to level it up at one apiece. Seb's mic is distorting. Yeah, a little bit I can't, further. I can't, I can't hear, I'm not going to lie, I can't hear it, Reggie. For me, this is terrible. I've got but technical... Reggie, your uh, voice sounds absolutely perfect. Well, yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's just got a voice for commentary. Obviously, very much. I've uh, got a, I've got a face for commentary, Anna. <laughs> well, should <laughs> should make quite a, a good combination then. But Tom uh, Jones, it's for the piece. Do you know this guy, Tom Jones, who all keeps taking all these bets in Reggie. What's right. what's crap there? What do we think? Oh, he wants to get he wants to get loud in commentary box, doesn't he? That's well. like just telling people about himself, yeah. Yeah, Gary Tom, Gillies, I'm quite glad I've that updated that for you now. One apiece, Ryan Bosworth. Luna's, n- Luna's not up again, lads. Luna's gone. It's uh, uh, it's one apiece now. And hopefully, we're not being too loud that uh, the people can hear us. But let, come on, lads, let's concentrate on match here. People keep trying to put little comments in the chat box, and I'll start going in raw, and people will start getting ruined. So let's be quiet, lads. You know the drill. Ryan's a massive break there. Tom, okay. we can have a laugh, mate, but... Big break, and... Uh, you're not drill, son. He's in behind the break, so he's made, obviously... Uh, he's made a ball, uh, and that's all important at this standard of uh, tournament, yeah, is we'll getting behind the, the break. Now. 
My sound's gone. Dry yabba dabba do. <laughs> Dry breaks were a killer. So here we go. He's in, in on the red. And again, it's just a matter of keeping the white ball under close control. They're all there. And he's played a clever shot there. Yellow one to red. And that leaves him on the awkward red. Into the green corner pocket. He just dropped this red in. Flicked the white back out for the red. Into the left centre. Gary, uh, we, struggle, we will struggle to get that bet on now, mate. Uh, I'm in commentary box, and obviously I don't think Bucky will take him running bets. No, the um, match has oh, started he, now. He, actually, he doesn't take singles, does he, Reggie? No, he's only doing doubles and trebles, I think, but or I'm, possibly trebles. Would you, would you have an even hundred pound with Gary Gillis if you wanted that? No, mate, no. not for me. No, well, the eagle, Gary. So even even Reggie wouldn't have an even hundred. So no. you, you're going to be struggling, mate. Very much so. Because Bodworth, he can play, can't he, Reg? Well, he certainly looks like he can play. I say, and he's he's got that second frame under his belt, and that would have helped him Im immensely. Oh, yeah. Lakin should have stamped on his throat when he had the chance to go two yeah, ahead. Yeah, I mean that for me. I think that's a, a it's a mistake. But at the end of the day, it's early days, long way to go. I've just been informed that I'm a little bit too loud, Reg. I think the players can hear me, so I'm just have to quieten it down a little bit. Okay, just this red. And the rail it's a good shot, isn't it? He's going to be 2 1 to Bodsworth. I'm just waiting on for me, uh, Snake yeah. Light and Black coming over, Reggie. It's go. not a Oh, he's thrilled here. What? Oh, he's. Mi well, listen, on the monitor here, what which would be on. What's just happened How's here? He? Okay. How's he? Well, I mean, come on. Wow, that's, wow. Just, that's a lapse of concentration, nothing more. It's not even a twitch. It's oh just a lapse. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Craig Lake in public cannot believe his look. Christmas just came early. He'll not be able to... He, he struck that terrible. Ah, I just need to be careful here. Okay, if you're not on the ball, don't sell the frame. Take your medicine. Yes, Play John your containing Parker, shot. I lost 11-6, mate, to Jordan Shepard. He's going to dig the yellow and put the white across behind the two. Good shot. He played the white well. well great yeah. shot. Sometimes you've just got to take your medicine when things don't go quite right. The white lands in an area that you didn't expect it to or you didn't play for. This looks a decent effort, no, but it's not no, the it's quite, not quite the right line. And wh why have we not got a referee on this table? Is there a reason? Sorry? Why is there no referee? I don't know why there isn't a referee, actually, to be quite honest. But, uh, but it's Craig Lake in my ball in hand. Uh, just got to... Sweep up here, really. Get the broom out and just drop all the yellows in. Just this, this is the only yellow with probably a degree of difficulty. But made it look ridiculously easy. Yeah, swagging about the table. Overhit that slightly. Oh, this is... Oh, that's careless. That is just careless. Yeah, baby. You, sorry, I missed that, mate. What happened there? He's missed the yellow. He wasn't on it. Look, quite right. He's thinking I need to pot it and go twice across. And of course, he just hasn't got it enough. It's been an awful start to this match, if truth be told. Uh, I can't. I'm, I'm struggling to believe why there's no referee here. Yeah, I'm disappointed there, really. Uh, what, are you disappointed there's no referee, or...? No, 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 I'm on about Craig. Forget the referee for a minute. Uh, no, very right. disappointed he'll be there, obviously. He's racking the balls up. It's his break. 2-1 to Ryan. But, you know, you can't be... Uh, you know, chances like that. A good chance there to, to steal the frame after a, a real howler on the blank. You know, again, I mean, to be honest, it could be 3-0 Lake and easy, but as it is, yeah. Ryan Bodsworth uh, ahead at 2-1. Just trying to uh, get a pint of young Jack X. So, Reggie, I can't even feel me. Oh, dear. The gums at minute. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting burnt. A bit yeah. disappointed, I'm not going to lie. I told Jack I would not sit down unless he brings it up me over. I would have gone to the bar myself, do you know what I mean? Well. I think a lot of people in this venue are starting to take their pee tonight, and I'm not really happy about it. And things will be getting done, believe. But Craig's on for a finish here. He needs to wake up. And I think right now. After what happened in the last round. Wow, frame, them viewers like are low, Reggie. For a Friday night at 430 viewers, what do you think about that? Uh, it's not bad at all. 
to be yeah. quite honest. It's not bad at all. I think it's decent viewing figures. Come on, people, get a share for us. Let's get this comp out there. He plays with his running side. He develops the black. He's just just caught the red, so uh, this is not easy now. Unless he unless he stuns it in and he plays a double on the yeah, black. It's, uh, it's not easy at all. He's going to try and develop the black. No, he's, he, uh, does he get to? Yeah, but just he's, he's developed it because he's moved the red away. But the problem is, is in bits. He's just not happening at the moment. He's just not getting right on balls and just making those little mistakes, and they're proving very costly at the moment. He was saying to me that like he's not feeling the best today, Craig. Uh, this is going to be a tough test for him, Reggie. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Or sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah, he's told me that he's not feeling great. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. But uh, you know. I just feel the mistakes aren't so much because he's not feeling that well. I mean, it's just bad mistakes. The mistakes that are happening at the moment. The girl factor. What's up, brother? So I'm going to have to leave yeah. the commentary position or something because yes. I need the drink. Oh, no he's just got me a pint. No, no, I'm not saying that. I just thought... I'm Best stream all night. Thank you, Craig Black. I'm not going to lie, I can smell pizza and I want a slice. I'm absolutely starving. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in the other room, but anyway, back no, to the No, he's winding it up, Reggie. Is he? Okay. If people are fighting, I'll be there knocking <sighs> jaws off people. Anyway, back to the action. Uh. You playing GT again, Seb. No, Josh Tien is not even up for discussion, mate. He's absolutely useless. The day that he plays me again is the, probably the day that I'm in my wheelchair. Podsworth in Adam Penwell's stable, so he wins simple as well. The way this game's going at the moment, uh, Craig's a little bit out of sorts. Last couple of frames for me could easily be three zip, but instead it's two hey, one to Ryan and I probably going to be. Reggie, look at that shot. If he'd have put that, it would have been in no man's land. For well, me, I the don't think he the didn't mean to pot it. No, of course he didn't mean to pot it, but he could have easily potted it. I think the ball's still struggling here. I, I won't, I won't say this frame's over and done with yet. By a long stretch of the, see, I would have played to develop black there. Yeah, he perhaps doesn't have your vision, so I think he's still a little bit nervous. It's first to 11, Dan Stacey. There's 480 people watching Bodworth. Has, has that many people ever watched him before? I don't think they have. So yeah. I, I think he's a little bit nervous. I think Craig's not feeling no, the there's best. there's no disturbance. It was just a wind-up, uh, Reese. Listen, some people have had to be sorted out. I've had to have a word with a couple of people because they were getting out of hand and they've been put in their place and if they, if they carry on again, then they will be asked to Ready leave the building. to the top corner here, just uh, a nudge if the other one across. In, if that goes in, that's worked oh my out. God. That, that's landed awful, I think. Yeah, I think, well, he should be okay. You can still see the red. It's, it's gone over the yellow corner pocket. Yeah, right, now He's looking at the plant again. He likes his plants. Maybe even run the white down and try and develop the black now. Ooh, no, he's he happy just to. Uh, he yeah, he's made the plans. He's just happy just to drop the red in and roll that black down towards the pocket. I think uh, that's the. Uh, he's not got as close as what no, I like no, here, but nah, I think if he gets back, I think he's pretty happy, isn't he? I think, he'd be, I think he'd be reasonably happy with that. He doesn't have to do anything with the white here. The angle that he leaves the school shot at, it's not going to make it. But he's got that, he's nailed he's got it. That, uh, good shot. 3 1. That's a 3 1 to Ryan Bodsworth. And. Uh, not the start that money making wanted. If we're being honest, it's been a little bit shaky from both players, but I just found a ball mark. There's some cheering going off here. I don't know what's going off behind me. Uh, not sure what's happening there, Reggie. There's a lot of cheering <laughs> going off. A bit of a cheer room. going on in the other room. Uh. That's Cheetah, my dear mate. Hope you well. The fire starter in the house. No, 
Oh, he's just uh, Stephen A's just a couple of uh, really surprising misses uh, that you don't normally see from Craig, uh, but uh, soon enough he'll turn up. It's still early doors. Uh, yeah, it's, the it's been unlucky there. That white wasn't going in, and no, then the reds helped it the in. The so, so and he's left. Good. He's left absolute gimmies here. Time for Lakin to turn up here for me. Don't, can't be dropping any further behind. He's three one down already and. Careless, uh, you know, really for me. Half and Dad managed to win 11 10 against Ryan Hopkins. Wow, wow. 10 8 it was to Ryan and half and Ryan the last uh, three. Ryan had pretty much gimmies and he's going to be absolutely devastated with that loss. No, we don't. Uh, it should be on Q score. Uh, what Liam score Lees. is he after? Liam Dunster. Liam Lees. Uh, come on, pal, you know drill. Q score. English Open, mate. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely all over Facebook. Yellow into, uh, I say, left centre, maybe. There's one match that really has caught my eye so far. And it's Mark Farnsworth and uh, Adam Myerskoff. The current score is 7 No, he's seven. Uh, looking at the yellow into left centre now. Obviously, he took the corner one first. Adam's doing himself proud. He's playing Pretty routine really well. stuff here, but he's just got to keep hold, make sure he doesn't lose his white. That's a bad shot. And again, he's, he's got like... Away. He's got away with it. He's, well, he should be okay. He can cut this into the centre and maybe. Uh, no, he's changing oh, shots. He's going to thin here. stick that one into middle. Oh he's flirted goodness. there with the pocket, but got away with it. It's okay, yellow shot. into the yellow corner. Has to go. Yeah, it's there. Good yeah, shot. He's got away with that one, hasn't he? Absolutely. Just this yellow then. Oh, he's left his center. And of course, visibly speeding up around the table, trying to get some adrenaline, a bit of momentum. Bang, Black's in, it's 3-2. Maybe that's a shot in the arm that he needs, I don't know. Or will be revealed shortly. No, I don't think he is Chris, <laughs> Okay, just waiting uh, three frames to two, then Craig Lake into break. Bang. Has he made a ball or is he dry? Looks dry to me. And it is dry and he's left droppings. Nightmare when that happens. Back to the corner, frustration. A chance here for Ryan Bodsworth to re establish a two frame lead. Yeah, I've never seen the break there, Reggie. Oh, broke off with it. Craig, drive Craig break. broke off, it's oh, a dry okay, break. Okay. Just got to keep hold of his white ball. They're all there, doesn't need any cannons or disturbances, just working I out. I believe people are whinging about times and honest to God. I give the guy free entry. I paid his entry fee and he's whinging. He's starting to get pissed off now. Oi, la okay, Sam, language, mate, be careful. Uh, okay, it's just a matter of dropping the red into the green corner pocket and uh, needs this key positional shot coming up here. I think he needs to be somewhere, I don't know, over near the blue spot if it's possible. That angle isn't uh, easy with the yellow being just above the red, but... He's just about missed it, and he's. That's not bad. He's still a okay. Bit thin. He's a bit thin. It is, but it's. He it needs a lot of check side on this. There's too much on it. He's got too much. It's okay. It's too pacey. He's bridging. Obviously, he just wants a good shot here, Reggie. He's trying to kill this into the corner, don't you? Yeah, I think. Uh, but do you know if you get too much into this, you can easily drag it off. Red into the green corner pocket. Yeah. Bridging now over the plat, but if he makes this, he's a big favourite, I would think, to win this frame. Missed it. And he's, he's, he's got it. It's, it's, it's wiped its feet, but it's in. Did Doesn't you know, really have to do anything with the white with this one. Just drop this running down the rail. You know yourself, Reggie, you. when you're playing on these brand new cushions with these brand new They slide in, yeah. They absolutely. do slide in quite a bit. So absolutely. you can't actually miss these shots. They're impossible to miss sometimes. I know they might look hard on your monitor, but I'll be honest now. Uh, yeah, they are quite so generous. 
That's uh, going to be 4-2. But it's a nice finish. It's, it looks a lot more composed now. And uh, he's finally getting to grips with this table, this arena. And the, yeah, the black man is still here. To be fair to Craig, I mean, come on, he's broke dry there. I mean, yeah. they're there, aren't they? I mean... OK, I'm not going to take nothing away. Ryan's still going to pot the balls. Fair play, and he got them. But at the end of the day, at this level, you really know that they're the chances you crave. You crave those chances when your opponent breaks trial and leaves your tables like that. Gosh, you've, got to, you've got to get those. You'd Simple love chances that. like that. Who's more at time? Oh, it does. It's not that. Uh, somebody's so, whinging uh, because they've played a four match two at 9 o'clock and they're on at 9 o'clock in the morning, so... I mean, I played my match at five this afternoon, and I'm playing at nine o'clock in the morning. But apparently, because he's playing at nine o'clock, then he wants to be playing at eight past ten. I mean... Well, right bots us to break. Here we go, 4-2. Listen, the pool players, they'll always find a way to mourn at you, so just let them crack on with it. They come Another up to dry me, break, but this time they're not way. anything like a straightforward as what they were on the previous break. Harry Thoman said, mute your mic, please. <laughs> Don't want to be dropping any further behind if you Listen, can help it. So. Let's not get the Gill Factor Z any bigger than it already is. So. Seb, i got some good news for you. Please, give me that good news, Adam. Okay, just looking to uh, make I the do not play the snooker, no, I'm it. sorry I don't. It's got to be careful here. If you're going to pull the trigger. I'll tell you something, Joe. Uh, talk to me again. He's lost quite a bit of weight, hasn't he? Did you? Sorry, I'm part. talking to you, mate. Yes, mate. I think Craig lost quite a bit of weight. Um, yes, I know. He lost quite a bit. A little we're bit, talking maybe. like a stone and three pound. Has he? Yeah. Can you not see the difference now? Uh, I think yeah, there's a massive lost, difference. He has lost a bit that of weight. That top don't fit him anymore. He's having to tuck it in. I think he needs a medium again. No, nah, he's fine. You don't want something that's too clingy and too tight in these no. hot conditions. They need to turn the air conditioning on for me. It's getting really hot in here, in my opinion. In this room? Yeah, it's I too think it's hot. nice and cool. No, I don't think so. I think it's too hot. It's hot. I need to put the air conditioning on. I think it's down to players, to be honest. I think if one of them says something, then fair enough. But for us people that are sat down drinking as beers and whatever, I don't think it's really our call to met Roger. Well, I don't know, mate. I'm, finding I'm, I'm sitting here doing nothing, and oh. I'm telling you, I'm breaking a sweat just sitting here. So you tell me. Listen, anyway, lads, uh, I'm going to tell you all listening at home now, Reg is talking absolute caca. Well, <laughs> just a bit, I'm not, I'm just uh, saying. I mean the gill factor, sweaty. I'm warm, Listen, I'm warm, very warm. A lot of people know Reggie Gill, they know that I don't even part with air and the mind sweat. <laughs> the gill factor. Swagging about in Club Murphy's. Yeah, no, it's Reggie, just containing, I, it's just I, containing the game here. Honest the opinion is it's down to players, mate, to tell us if it's too hot or it's too cold. I mean, we had aircon on earlier, they were saying that it was too cold. Do you know what I mean? Well, yes and no, uh, Kevin Moores, thank you. <laughs> what, what's Moores it for? I can't even see his comments. The Vindaloo. Uh, no, I, I'm a Madras man myself, but. Uh, Who wins the comps? Seven, Reggie. Hard uh, to say. Uh, very hard to say. A lot of good players. I wouldn't like to call it, mate, to be honest. No. There's a lot of players playing well. I think uh, Jordan Shepard's playing as well as anybody. Uh, yeah, well, Jordan, I mean, Mark's playing well. Uh, Myers Cuff and Farsworth are now eight apiece. Yeah, so, this is like That's I say. So if Farsworth goes into the loser's side, that just blows it wide up, doesn't it, Reggie? Definitely. Absolutely. Obviously, Tom Cousins is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, yeah. without but question. I mean, he's one of the guys who's obviously going to be one of the Obviously, Simo beat Marshy. Yeah. So, so we, we, we've had a few side. shocks on the opening day. What is the black going? Oh, I thought black were heading for corner then. That's a little bit of Russia blood for me, that is. It's open Someone game right Reggie. up. They actually go now. Reggie, all what, the do right. you, what, do you, what do you make of that comment? Sorry? Someone's asked Reggie to cut it bad. He's gone out. No, That's nobody, nobody's asked me to go to the bar. If Chris Melling will be here tomorrow, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Chris will be here in the morning. Uh, I don't know. I don't really eat much oranges, Matty Smith. But back to the action anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, Reggie, Reggie up peel oranges in his pockets. Uh, he buys trousers that don't have pockets in, so he can't carry money. The girl factor. <laughs> I 
If we can all just get sh uh, stream a share, please, lads. Just get a share for us. Okay, uh, it's I'll, I'll just got a bit scrappy, to be fair, at the moment yeah. now. And, uh, I mean, we can't really commentate on this, can we, Reggie? No, it, well, you can, but it, it's, it's just got a bit scrappy, and it's one of those times where, from a Lakin's perspective, he needs, he needs to show, obviously, a little bit of patience here, and he's trailing, obviously, for 2-4, so he can ill afford to dive in and There's chase There's no finishes. Finishes. updated on kill score at all. Seb is hammered. Josh Warrington, I can assure, I can assure you I'm not, mate. So get back in your box. I'm sure there will be, uh, Kevin George. My phone's not getting updated with a kill score, so uh, I can't actually get no scores out at the minute, lads. That's been some comeback from Scott Ross, who were well behind against Ryan Clark, and the score I have on my phone is nine apiece. Seven three, it was seven three to Ryan, and it's now nine apiece. So, yeah, going all the way that one by the look of it. Seven two, uh, Lakin just said so. Kill scores not getting updated. It makes you apparently if I don't do it, then nothing gets done in this building, and it's something that's really winding me up now. And Jenks is eating a pizza right at side of me, and that's winding me up even more. Yeah, can you hear me, Jenks? <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, uh, the most prestigious Turkish kebab salesman in all of the southwest of England, up in the north part of England tonight. I just need to ask, ask him a question. Is that free food, Jenks? Have you paid for it? No, he's paid I've for paid that. For yeah, I like to hear that. <laughs> I like to know when Tommy's getting richer. There you go. Lakin's taking on the double there again. There was maybe some yeah, value in it, you. but still far from easy <coughs> to clear from there. Looking at where the black is and the red is guiding that pocket, so I think uh, it's a time to just show a little bit of restraint here. It'll afford to dive in and, and make it easy for your opponent to, 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 to take another frame off you. Okay, it's uh, Ryan Podsworth playing clever little shot there, drops in behind the reds, giving his opponent a problem. This might present him with a chance, possibly two shots that's a, to uh, maybe open the game up. That's obviously what he's trying to do, so. I'm not sure uh, Q score, what the Dunster score is. I can't see it myself. Kevin Moores, how are you doing? The Moores maker. I'm not sure. It's a foul. Uh, not sure on that one. Callum Place, to be fair, what time? It could be 9am, I think. Oh, he's, like I say, just missed. Just missed the yellow there and hit the red. But again, look at the table. Far from easy for Reds, even if Ryan tries to have a go here. That hasn't worked out. So obviously hoping to keep get the yellow out of the way and the red is staying out and play, but it's drifted back across behind the yellows. Uh, Seb Webb's left us, uh, so it's just me. Okay. The hand's gone up there. That's uh, ended up uh, somewhat a little bit fortuitous. Good shot by Craig to hit the yellow. So, so it's a little bit of cat and mouse going on here. Uh, 
Yellows have become very, very <laughs> bunched. Not the sort of uh, game uh, we normally used to see, but sometimes you get these frames in pool. It's all part of the game. Uh, I've got one now. Uh, been joined by uh, Jacob. Uh, joined me in the box. How you doing, Reggie? Not too bad. Uh, Seb's left us, guys, so it's moved on to uh, just me and Jacob now. Uh, that's not too bad. I mean, okay, he almost went in off there, but he's okay. And again, Ryan, clever shot there. Brings the red into play and plays a good white. Got Craig in a, a spot of bother. But it is all about the situation in the bulk end of the table at the moment. I mean, there isn't really a lot you can say about the reds. They're all there, a bar those two that are just tied up in the bulk end of the table. And until that riddle is solved or one of them can force an opening up there to have a go at pulling well, the trigger then looking now at the overhead okay. he, can, he can see the angle to play the uh the the middle left yellow and realistically he could plant that onto the one that's below the red and take that pocket he could do it which would develop two which would develop two balls He's almost done it that way, but I think he'll yeah. take that. That's okay. Certainly doesn't open the game up for the Reds. So if Ryan does want to pull the trigger, then of course he will be taking. He'll be doing it with obviously a certain amount of risk. And at the moment, I don't think Ryan looks like he's in any mood to take any risks. He's leading four two. So I know Craig's your friend, but no, no, no. who did who did you have down for winning this from the off? I don't really know a lot about Ryan Bodsworth. I've not seen him play before, so to me, uh, it was it was one of those where obviously I think if Craig plays something close to potential, he'd have to start favourite as according to the bookies, uh, the betting. But sometimes favourites don't always, you know, they don't always win. No, nope, the bookies can't always, you know, don't always get it right. You know, the so I know that um, Ryan beat Lewis Calcutt in uh, some of the latter stages of the UK pool tour yeah, um, and then went on to lose the next round um, obviously Lewis is quite a capable player yeah like so I say uh, he must have his wits about him yeah obviously if you've seen him play and uh, if he's able to you know put one over on Lewis Calcutt uh, in a UK tour where, whenever that was obviously but either way certainly proves he can play the game Lewis Calcutt's no uh, on no, no one's pushover definitely not Just trying to uh, bring, missed a couple of comments. I wouldn't mind just bring it down. So. <laughs> Cheers, Mark Singleton. I missed that. Yeah, it's just, uh, as I say, I just think uh, from what I've seen from Ryan, he seems to have settled. There's a little couple of uncharacteristic misses earlier on from what we know of him. You know, strange misses. He missed a black and Lakin didn't punish him in that frame, as I say, but seems to have settled into a little bit of a groove and he's happy here, just mixing it, but he's just looking, obviously he's got ball in hand here. He's just uh, looking to just get the right angle, maybe to develop both threads in one go. But how much can he, how much can he sort of get into the white being so close to the red? So it's not going to be easy and need, this needs to go right, otherwise he'll be back to the drawing board and maybe I'm to tuck up again. So if you look on the screen again, yeah. sorry, Reg, we've got the uh, overhead camera angle back up uh, so you can have a bit of a better look at how yeah, those balls are situated. He's looking at maybe playing the reds as a plant. and uh, But at the same time, the one you're going to play nearest the white will stop in its tracks. And if it doesn't clear the yellow that's, uh, if you like, nearest to the left corner, then it becomes a bad ball again, even if the other one has come out because he's thinking of bringing the black into play at the same time. Red onto red, bring the back into play, yeah. and try and clear from it. But it, it'll be all be about the red that you're about to play nearest the white. 
he'd be he'd actually be better off, better off attacking it from the other side of the ball, wouldn't he? If he was going to do that, as in maybe as I mean, in closer to yeah, the yellow and, that's on and the cushion. not even get involved with the black because the black goes. So yeah. you know he's now looking. Obviously, he's changed shots here. He's going to he bring it all into play. He's going to trust the look. How's your look? It's not bad, you so know. What? Yeah, that's worked yeah, out, exactly. right, isn't it? <laughs> wow, <Just>, uh, <laughs> what a lovely split. <laughs> So in the end, he's had what we call a bit of a crash bang wallop shot and thought, well, you know, to hell with all this overthinking. Let's just get him out. Indeed. And look how that's worked out. One nice little opener now. And that should be curtains. Oh, flirting there, but he's, he's gone yeah. in. We've been saying though over the hot, last couple of matches. Hot stopping moments there for a minute. Yeah, this this, this table is playing really big. The, okay. The pockets are really the, open. The bags that is, yeah. yeah so it's a sliding in and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, look, you saw how how wide open on the yeah. uh, on the jaw that hit the ball. I bet people at home there were probably amazed that that still went yeah. in, thinking buckets. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a few nine ball comments. Well, either way, he's very much in the ascendancy here and uh, barring any uh, careless mistakes, really, this should be 5-2. But if it's all ifs and buts, he's still got to get them and uh, he'll realise the importance of this chance and he's drawn the white back down the table. Uh, and that's not a bad shot because he's finished pretty much straight. So, again, he doesn't have to do anything with the white. Just punch the long red in and leave yeah. the white where the red is. And that should leave you perfect for the one on the brown spot. And he's just potted it to one side of the pocket, but it should be okay. He's just a little bit off straight, but I reckon if he, he can drop this in dead weight and probably still hold for the one to middle. Just depends. A bit deceptive sometimes from the angle, but you can see there it isn't straight. So it's a little bit of work to do, and he's done it well. Played it absolutely spot on. I mean, just drop this in now and just roll in behind the black. No degree of difficulty, and just drop the black up the rail for a 5-2 lead. And he's potted the black, so that's 5-2. Uh, Yeah, uh, well, everybody who's out there tonight, big shout out to Craig Black, Kevin Moores, and everybody else for tuning in. And all of the rest of you, if I haven't given you a mention, big shout out for tuning in and watching the action. Uh, there's going to be some great pool this weekend here, some great matches to to marvel at, to, to, to take in, I'm sure. Uh, and Jack was bringing you. Uh, Elite 8 Bull Stream bringing you the best pictures you could possibly wish for uh, to view it so don't go anywhere get those cans of beers in for the weekend and get a nice comfortable seat at home and tell oh, the definitely. missus to go shopping yeah indeed yeah <laughs> so so she, preferably, no, so she, so preferably she, shopping for the beer bring it back to you then she can go out again well send, yeah send her swimming with the kids that would it? help yeah for the so, day well <laughs> exactly Somewhere far as long away. as she brings enough beer for you to view and view the best pictures she can then go out with the kids, have a nice time, and you can stay there and watch some great pool and listen to some good commentary at the same time. There's going to be quite a lot of people coming in and out of the box this weekend because I know Jacob's already invited. There's a lot of good players here that also there can are. commentate. I'm pretty well. They're invited whether they choose to or not is another thing, but Jacob's already made it clear that he's, he's happy for some of the good other players, knowledgeable players, to come yep. into the box. Uh, I'm always happy to lend a hand if I'm not playing. So we should have some very. Uh, yeah, hope, hopefully you should get some uh, better results in the in the loser side well, tomorrow. I hope so. I mean, it's never going to be. It's never the easiest straw to draw. Mark Boyle in your first game, uh, no, and he played really well. To be fair, Mark. Uh, I mean, I think eleven six, and but he's, he marks dish seven of those eleven. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good standard by really, any really by any stretch of a man, you know. So fair play to Mark. Well done to him, and uh, commiserations to myself. But you know what? Uh, I'm not too despondent. I played well and I can't really complain because for well, me, uh, as I say, I couldn't have done a lot more. But Mark is it. Mark's in the game at that level. He's there for a reason, indeed. as we all know. But back to the action. Uh, Ryan Bodsworth at the table and another chance here presenting itself for him. He 
just isn't quite right. I don't think... Thank you. I don't think he can uh, get through to the... Uh, to the the yellow into the green corner pocket so but he should be okay still got this one to the bottom left He's certainly got a bit of an angle to work the white and, and regain perfect position he's played that well look at that good shot well judged good weight of shot that one Still a little bit of work to be done here. They're there, but it's getting harder, you know, regained position, but it hasn't uh, landed ideally here. There's work to be done here to regain good position. Uh, Scotty, uh, shout out to Scotty as well. Courtesy of Craig Black. It's hard to say, Martin, really, who's favourite. I wouldn't like to say, but Ryan Bodsworth certainly looks like he can play this game. I've not seen him play before, so... Uh, he's finished now, actually, to be fair, Kevin Morse. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and leave you in the capable hands of Jacob uh, while I just have a, a sandwich, because I'm absolutely starving. So, good shot by Craig, but... I'll be back in a couple of minutes. That was a good shot by Craig. Got a bit of work to do though. This has got to be the most safety play that I've ever seen from Craig in a match. I thought he was actually considering snooker him again. Double trouble, sat in behind them both. Three cushion escape, sit in behind the two yellows. perhaps looking to get a little flick off and uh, sit in behind the balls not quite there so what's been your favourite game of the evening then people jot us down a message have there been any surprise results on the stream for you Other than the balls being able to wipe their feet, they uh, wipe their feet uh, quite so much, and still go in. So Morsey, you're saying Simos? That was your that was your favourite game was quite enjoyable to watch. Couldn't help but feel for uh, Craig Marsh to keep going in off on the brakes. Yeah, this is very true. With a brand new cloth, uh, it does slide around.
And we'll have another go at that, shall we? Yeah, Kevin Moores, I've heard of someone doing it three times, which is just crazy. Normally the break is dry when you've just potted the black, as a rule. And obviously there's exceptions. That's a nice shot if that red goes nice and easily. Mm. Do you think Bosworth takes his frame out now? Yeah, these are purely a formality. <laughs> Only a case of process. <coughs> Which way to go around it? Okay, just back, a uh, quick uh, toilet break and a sandwich. <laughs> Ryan Bods with the uh, last two reds. It's all about the red nearest the right centre. He's a bit straight on this. Yeah, and that's Can what it? the concern is. He hasn't really given himself a lot of angle. Would oh. have been a lot a lot easier shot, Jacob, obviously, had he a bit of... He may have to force this, I don't know. And he'd be, he doesn't like it. He's having a good long look at this. Here we go. The other red does go in the bottom right hand pocket as well. Yeah, and he, he settled for just leaving himself shot in the end. The only issue he's got now is holding this white. Is it there? It's there, there you know. But yeah. look where he's landed. I thought that'd Smack be the case. bang on top of the black. He needed to play that quite a bit harder if he wanted to yeah, have it. Yeah, I think so. You know, commit to it a bit more, yeah. bit more pace. There was no, there was no way that he was holding it. Good shot. Yeah, just fire the yellow in here into the yellow corner pocket. Again, just a matter of mind your work here. No degree of difficulty here. He's gone to try. I don't. Ah, uh, the angle's deceptive, so the yellow doesn't pass the black. No, it doesn't. He's got it, yeah, just looking at the other monitor now. So. That was the reason for that last, obviously, shot trying to ping 
into the black and yellow to free it. Unlucky, good effort. He's landed absolutely he's horrible. Landed in about the well. worst place he could have landed. So well, if it, the white isn't, it's not very nice. But he c he can uh, he can pot this one into the middle. It's awkward queuing. Should get it though. Oh, I was touching ball. Yeah, that's yeah. It's got to like I say it landed awkward, but you know what? Like you say, he got second prize. Yeah, he was touching ball yeah. and that allowed him just to play that snooker. Yeah, big sigh of relief. If that hadn't have been touching ball, pressure was very much on. Definitely. How is it? As you look, no, it's no, fast. Yellow He's hit the yellow. So. You'd expect to see Clay just uh, take these out and reduce his arrears to five frames to four. So just a little bit of care here again. Straightforward enough, but just doesn't need to lose the white Two here. cushions. Going through, there we go. Oh, Two cushions, three. three in fact. Yeah. Getting on with this, straight down on the shot. Head of steam, adrenaline, all the other superlatives. He's very much confident player, isn't he? Yeah, very much. It's it's what I call I like to call it head of steam and uh, adrenaline rush. The the flake players, that type of player where they, they buzz off the adrenaline. They like to get on with it, they like to hurry up and get that adrenaline flowing and, and that helps with the game. So Craig Lake in trailing five frames to four. Yeah. Reducing his arrears. It's all right, Morsey, we've just updated it. We're having issues with Dan being in control of the, well, not he, being he in control does, of Dan, the does, Dan, but it's just the way he plays. If some players, they, they, they take overthink and not taking too long. It doesn't actually do them any favours, even though those sitting on the sidelines at home say, slow down, slow yeah, down. Very, very true. They just don't, Ronnie's the same at snooker, he just doesn't play that way. Oftentimes you know? you've made the right decision immediately, and that overthinking just leads you to d doubt yourself for a little while. Yeah. Just a uh, little bit of frustration here. Just wants to get on with this, but the balls just haven't landed ideal. Back with you in one sec. Ryan faces quite an awkward situation now. Let's have a look at the overhead. Neither of these two sets of balls looking particularly nice. Balls in your court, Craig. That's a great shot. Dad's cheating. I don't think that's true. Night, Kevin Moyles. Good to have you on board. Yeah, you can check the uh, the other scores um, on the 11 p.m. matches on Q Score. Um, just uh, see if I can have a look for you. Um, Arf and Dad is 
Uh, 11-10 up on Ryan Hopkinson. Uh, Ross Fernie's. Oh, no. Hang on. Looking at the ones that have finished. Scott Gillespie and Dean Wilson won all. Uh, Mark Farnsworth now 10-8 up on Adam Myerskoff. Michael Barron, 6-4 up on uh, Brian Halcrow. John Turner trailing three frames to two against Ben Davies. Uh, Liam Dunster blasting ahead at 9-3 against Chris Wood. And that's all of them. Evening, Sam Jones. Thank you very much, Malk Wally. Hope I pronounced that right. Thank you very much, Gareth Aries. If you like the stream, maybe you could uh, give it a like and a share. Um, maybe leave us a review if you, if you think kindly about us. If not, keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> okay, that's me back. Ryan Bodsworth uh, on the Reds, <coughs> leading 5-4. Sorry, just had to deal with a little bit of business away from the stream, uh, the commentary there, so... Two weeks to Catalonia. Indeed, Patrick Kane. Really uh, looking forward to it. That. He's got a back double, but it can't be guaranteed of landing on the black off this shot. It's to trust a little bit to look. Maybe back double and run around the side of the yellow. Does the black go into the bottom left as he comes round? He's judged it well. He's played a great a cannon. Very nice. <coughs> yeah. Good shot. Excellent shot. Just decided to completely commit to it and uh oh, missed it. would you believe it? Wow. <sighs> but the yellow will not pass the black to the right centre, so mm. make your mind up time. Is there anywhere safe you can leave this ball? Well he's thinking put it over by the the green side of the table, I think. Take it on. Here we go. And leave it over there. Leave him the tough black. That's not a bad shot. That's a clever shot by Craig. Okay, he's left it, but I don't know if he can keep the white from going in. Can he keep the white out of the middle? Can he screw it? It's there, you know, is it? No, not Pockets buckets. weren't quite that we big. We thought, well, exactly. I was about to say, Jack and everyone's been saying they're huge, the buckets, but as you saw there, not this time. So, Lake in with a chance there. to bring us level then. Just walks past the commentary position with a wry smile there to himself. <laughs> He's almost about to get down and play that yellow and then realise, no, I'll take the one over the top bag. And he's finished a tad straight here. Should be okay. Just to draw the white back up the table. That's it. Where's the white? Wait Where's for the it. White? Oh, oh my would word. you believe it? <laughs> he's just said, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. <sighs> Couldn't see that coming. That is wow. 6 4 to Ryan Wadsworth. Six four Ryan Bodsworth, unexpected miss there from uh, in off should I say from Craig Lakin. Ryan Bodsworth gets us underway, makes a ball. He's got a fairly big break on that on him, hasn't he? And these have gone, you know, it's a nice split. Yeah. It's 
now 20 to 2 in the morning, and we're still here. Wow. 20 to 2? Yeah. Where'd you get that from? Or 20 to 1. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Getting a bit ahead of yeah, yourself. No, no, I no. I was no, just, just wondering whether the clocks were going no, forward. No, no, no. My phone's still uh, <laughs> reacting funny due to uh, when I was in o- overseas yeah. early run. Look. Yeah, England funny. time and uh, now You've got overseas. both times up, yeah. Yeah. Courtesy of Rome and Italy and everything else. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice back to, to <laughs> back to the action. An absolute uh, steal there. Then really, in the end, for for Ryan, because once that black didn't go in, go in, Jack a bit looked for all the world. We're going to be five five apiece. So yeah. amazing what can happen. Craig finishing two straight on the element. He had to go up, you know, up and down, and of course found the enough. Ah, he's been unlucky there. Good effort. Try to get in between those balls to land on that awkward ball. And it looks like total. There might be an edge. No, we can see a little bit, I think. Maybe there's just an edge. He's very close to a total. This is... No, maybe not. Maybe it is a total. It is pretty close. No, I think there's just an edge. There's just an edge. Just had a look here. And Not I on the thought monitor. you said you couldn't see. <laughs> I know, I wear specs as well, but still got decent eyes from a distance. It's just anything that's up close and personal. Been caught out there, son. <laughs> <laughs> what, the up close and personal bit? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, like, you know, looks like he shrugged off the disappointment and just getting on with this uh, unexpected chance. Yeah, cued it well. It's all about the two yellows then on the left of the screens. Finding a good positional shot. Looks straight to me again. I actually straight. I actually thought when he had that one up towards the top left pocket that he might have screwed back off that and into those balls. This is one of those times uh, where he may have to play the double or play the back yellow. No, he's committed to this. Yeah, he's took the double on. Great shot. He could have easily played the back yellow there, you know, and just rolled the snooker up and freed the Ellis. Yeah, definitely. Because that double was far from guaranteed, but he made it. And he's made a good shot there. But it's tricky, this black. But, you know, that's the Craig Lake, and we know gets down and knocks balls in for fun. 6-5, that's a bit better. Ah, oh, yeah, Gareth, it's just on my screen on my phone. It was... Uh, it's hard to say, Ricky Bullock, at the moment, but going back to Gareth's comment, it's just still coming up on my screen on my phone, so I looked at my phone and it's showing me both time zones still. I need to eradicate that, really. And But anyway, it doesn't matter. But thanks for the concern, Gareth. Always appreciate it. Uh, it's hard to say, Ricky, uh, at this moment, uh, Ryan's still going to be slight favourite, but Lakin's very much back in this now, and uh, it's only a one in it. Needs a ball and finally he gets one. Well, maybe not finally, but certainly needed it. Wanted to get him first. Really be looking, really be wanting to make level this match up sooner rather than later. Pockets have shrunk. <laughs> Evening, Ted Ted. So, Ricky Bullock saying, who wins this in your opinion, Reg? I think the fight's on. The struggle is real. We shall see. Okay, uh Red over towards yellow corner. Doesn't get the pot, but certainly gets control.
doesn't make the double on the yellow. Won't be too, uh, won't be too concerned because it's still not uh, that straightforward to clear up here. Albeit reds have definitely got the control and hold up. It's not gone, but again, it's he won't be too uh, despondent. He's got big time control of this frame where them balls are now, so. It's not going to be easy for Ryan to clear if he decides to have a go at these yellows. The opening ball to far, is far from uh, easy to gain good, to gain a good positional stroke uh, to try and get some sort of disturbance over by the yellow corner pocket. And then of course you've got the yellow at this end of the table that's just above the red. So loads of work. He's looking at it and he knows it. Obviously just wondering uh, where he's going to leave the white if he doesn't have a go at them. Obviously, because the concern is there that reds, apart from uh, just the one that's next to the yellow nearest the bottom right, is then, of course, he's pushed the yellow over there to try and create a problem. I think Craig will be playing the plant here to try and develop both the reds. How's this going to work out? Here we go. Oh, it's, that's the one. I mean, now, look, he's got three pockets. He wants all the pockets. Getting a bit greedy here. Bit of a smile going on between the players, looking at each other there, saying, how many pockets do you want? Ryan Bonsworth there, having a look, just having a little joke. Always nice to see that between the players. Casey okay, Singh <laughs> turns up, how you doing? Cheers, uh, Ricky. Nice, uh, kind words, mate. I just do... Uh, what comes naturally to me, just to see the shots and try and call them the way I see the game being played. Can't get it right every last time, but of course, cause some players are unpredictable in their shot selection. A bit, bit of a game of chess going on here. Ryan's, uh, I think, happy here just to let Lakin go, I think. He's resigned to the fact he doesn't feel he can win the frame by going from, so it's a case of, OK, I'll just bounce that yellow out. If you want to have a go, go and have a go. On every angle going here on this stream, that's for sure. I think Lakin's getting a bit greedy here. He wants every bag on the table. Ryan's just motioned Tim again, saying, How many pockets and more pockets do you want to cover? It's good to see Craig Lakin digging in here, playing the game rather than diving in. He knows it's an important frame, doesn't want to, at this stage, if you get a chance to draw level, could have drawn level at five, five apiece and the white went enough. It's six, five now, so he knows the importance of trying to get level here. That'll make it, you know, technically uh, a best of nine. Doesn't want to be too behind still at seven, five, so he's just trying to make sure you know, as well as he can and uh, not give his opponent any any gifts. He's already, for me, took two frames away in this match, possibly three, in my opinion. So, can't keep a player of Ryan's uh, quality. You can't just keep handing him frames and then expecting to keep clawing it back because it doesn't work like that. At no, some point, your luck's going to run out. Yeah, it's uh, just uh, of course, you have it's thirsty work. Morning, uh, Louis Healy. How you doing, mate? Okay, back to the action. Oh, no, 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 he's got that all wrong. Oh, dear, 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 he's caught it all wrong, caught it too thick. Almost went enough as a result. An unexpected mistake there from Craig. Uh, Ryan looks like he's lapping that up. 
Yeah, he said, well, I think he wanted to be a bit, the angle slightly different so he could screw all the way back down the table. I think that's what he was looking at. He was looking to leave this yellow, go a bit higher and screw down to the one that's near the corner yeah. pocket. Yeah. Can't do that now, so uh, won't be pleased with that shot. He's underdone that chance there. If he'd just gone another inch higher up the table, he could have fired the yellow into the late yellow corner and screwed down the table onto the yellow and perhaps knocked the red in. Making that shot would have won him, probably won him the frame. Tom Eckenbottom doing the honours here. H handy little spot that, isn't it? Got some nice tables here where I've just uh, saying to Jacob, was, was a perfect good? spot underneath the table. So if a drink gets spilled accidentally, it's not going to affect the technical equipment on the table. Definitely. I don't think there should be any, like at the Corn Exchange, and I'll say it to you, Jacob, we don't allow any uh, drink drinks, even for the commentators, yep. near the equipment at all. Yep. Just it's because it just takes one accidental moment, somebody to trip for, oh, and definitely. it's all over the keyboard, and that's it, it's done, it's all over. Yeah. Back to the action, and uh, the update should be on QScore. Uh, yeah. If you go to QScore.com, yeah. there'll be updates sure, on Jack all of the uh, scores. Team, uh, somebody's doing that, Are the Jack or somebody's taking care of that somewhere. No, it's nothing to do with me, this one. For I all think the updates. Seb will be keeping track of that. Um, so, we have here. Uh, Interesting one there. Michael Barron against uh, Brian Halcrow. 8-4, I think, Michael Barron. 3-2 to Scott Gillespie against Dean Jamie Wilson. Jamie Simmons, 11-9. Craig Marsh. Ross Fernie, 11-6 against Luke Rigglesworth. Craig's and currently Craig Lake in 6-5 down to Ryan Bodsworth. Ben Davis, Interesting four, cat John and mouse Turner. frame. We've had a couple of these, haven't we, in this match? You know, like these cat and mouse frames yep. normally. We're so used to seeing players crash, the ball's open, dish, see you yeah. later. Yeah, definitely. But it's been interesting, and it's been interesting to see the other side of Craig Lake and what the world rules has given him over the last season and a half, playing and having to think a little bit more and use his tactical brain. Because he can, contrary to, to thoughts by anybody who didn't know Craig, he can actually play this side of the game quite well when he puts his mind to it. He just doesn't choose to do it an awful sure. lot. Sure. It's funny. I, I started off in uh, I started off in World Rules. Okay. Um, I played World Rules for 15 years. Uh, well, World Rules, World Rules County for 15 years. Um, and I've moved over to Blackpool. And I think the elements of World Rules that I've got in my head and the way that I used to think playing Cheers, World Rules has, has, has done me quite a lot of favours playing Blackpool. Because yeah. I see certain shots in certain ways that perhaps people who've only played black ball wouldn't. No, absolutely, yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, it's one of those, isn't it? Uh, the world, the world rules, the the, act, the dimensions it gives you because you have to look at shots different. And yeah. it, I, I always feel it's 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 there's no harm in that. It, it doesn't do you any harm because not every frame is going to be a crash bang wallop dish fest. It's played that well in the end under a lot of pressure there, bridging over the ball. Referee called the referee over just to make sure there was no, uh, if you like, you know, okay. somebody calling saying, oh, he feathered the ball. Referee right there, Donna Evans, uh, senior referee, right there on hand to make sure as Craig delivered the, the cue through onto the white, striking down, there wasn't any foul as the, the back of the cue, the base of the cue behind the ferrule doesn't catch the yellow. Yeah, Callum plays. Man, he, he can play. Their race is to 11. It's actually nice to see a player calling <laughs> a ref over to make sure that they don't foul. Yeah, that's right. It's good to see because the thing is, it's it's uh, that's great intervention there from Craig. Played a great shot there. And look at shot. that. He's reaping the rewards from that for sure. And all of a sudden, it's a completely different game, this isn't it? This needs to go in, and it's there. It's gonna should be six all now. Great shot that was. Screw back, knocking the yellow in, yellow onto the red. Obviously, the red come round the table, and Jacob landed very, uh, you know, fortuitously straight into the middle. But you know, sometimes you ride your own luck. You play a big shot like that to try and open the game up to win it. And sometimes, you know, it, what do they, as, as, as Del Boy in 10, early fools and horses, he who dares wins. 
Indeed. And that was definitely one of those times. Uh, I can't answer that, Callum Place. Is Martin Hazel the best player ever? Is the best uh, World Rules player ever? I, I can't answer that. Never seen him play World Rules. Great footing EPA player, I know that. Yeah, great intervention there, guys. Drawing the white back with the angle, knowing he'd get the cannon on the yellow to put the red that was behind the yellow in. It was all about where the red came, and as you know, as you all saw, it landed rather nicely. So it's six apiece, head on for Craig Lakin now. He needs to get his head on and uh, and uh, play like he can, and there uh, showed a lot of, for me, showed a lot of battling qualities out there, Jacob, that you don't normally see. That's a lot of, a lot of you guys that are watching don't normally see that type of game from Craig Lakin. No, we don't. Not at all. So, I'm, for me. I'm actually quite surprised to see it at all. <laughs> really am. But I didn't know he had a safety shot in him. This, that side of his game was one of the reasons I got him playing the year before back on the hard tour yep. to say, look, you need to, uh, you know, battle a bit better in frames where the, the, that's unlucky. But, well, I say that's unlucky. It wasn't a kicking off. That's a poor break because that screwed straight enough to the yellow corner pocket. But going back to the Lakin scenario, I wanted him to go back playing World Rules for that reason. So that when you get frames like that, you've got to learn to battle. Yeah, you have. You look can't. How, look how wide open these reds are. Oh, dear. But the white, when you know, it's a poor break off shot, people say, if the white screws straight into a quarterback. Yeah, definitely. He didn't get kicked that time, so I, I was just about to say he's been a talent lucky, yeah. but then once well, I looked at it and he you know hasn't. What? It, I mean, yellow's gone down there. I'd have, well, actually, well, now, me, now yellow's a favourite. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's made a big deal of, of that. Yeah, he has. That didn't turn out very well at all, did no. it? I'll tell you what, he missed a trick there. He could have he could have used the yellow that's uh, yeah. that's to the right of the middle pocket to open up the black. And this time he's just settled for pushing the red oh. towards the corner where the black is and he probably feels with having a red over the green corner pocket and there's yellow up there as well that it's going to be a big ass for Ryan Bodsworth to clear. So it's like a bit of a calculated true. gamble that yeah, one true. there. Just push the red to the pocket and say, OK, mate, I've made a big zero of it, but have a go yourself. So uh, there's people still moving around here, coming through. It's first to 11, uh, Ricky. Sorry, Andrew uh, Mitten. Uh, there's no real number one here, or as we call supposed real number one. So I'm sorry, you're just going to have to uh, make do with these two guys. I think it's a bit harsh to say uh, these two are wank. Craig Lakin's one of the most naturally gifted pool players on the circuit. He could be uh, T T T D N one, the Derby number one. The Derby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he is. He's the, he's the real yeah. Derby number one. Yeah. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but you know. And that hasn't worked out. Was, that a, was that a DF? <laughs> well, some people <laughs> would say that was a DF, wouldn't they? They'd say, what's he doing there? Yeah, quite. If it wasn't for the fact Rand that the DF at that point. Uh, just, well, do you know, for me, Jacob, the previous shot, he tried to develop the black. But I feel, just get started and get the balls. I just think, trying to get the black out and then risk leaving yourself in no man's land, which is where he left himself, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. And then trying to make a miracle skill shot, which looked like a DF, to yeah. be honest. It did. Although I'm DF not saying it was, of course well, no, it wasn't, it but yeah. we're, we're just... Uh, it would have been a very stupid point yeah. to pull off a DF. <laughs> Martin Hazel commenting, how you doing, Martin? Yeah, it's still up there in his opinion in Callum Place. Martin Hazel always been a very good, tactically astute player. Okay, he's just, again, betwixt and between for me. I think he's got to play the one near the yellow spot. But he's choosing not to. He's going to try and run through off the side cushion. Here we go. And play it that way instead. Played it okay. Just needs to pot this off the top cushion. Here we go. Bit of check side to straighten the white up. 
London is pretty good. Slightly ambiguous, but should be okay. And yeah, Craig Lakin seven, six, takes Craig Lakin. the lead for the first time in the game. <laughs> so, 7-6 to Lakin, three on the bounce. Starting to get a bit of a head of steam and it's worrying times for Ryan Bondsworth because those little mistakes, Jacob are creeping in. They certainly are. And a minute ago at 6-4, looked very comfortable and uh, as I say... Uh, Do you know, I think Craig's actually slowed down a little bit. He has a little bit. He's not being quite so brash and it's paying Re off. <laughs> Reese, Reese Cole sweating over there. He's the relevant bookie today. He, he doesn't need Lake him winning this match or it's not going to be a good day at the office for him today. That's for sure. And that's not a bad break off shot. Ah, oh, it's gone awry. Made the cannon, but not been. I think he'd probably just get through to the one over the green corner pocket. I think so. I think he can get, th he can get through to it, actually. I'm right behind him from the competition. He can get through to this, but his concern is the one that's next to the the yellow in the middle of the table. Well, opposite the right centre. That's the obvious ball, the cause for concern. So does he just take his medicine and just think the red? Yep. He's satisfied to leave that there and think, well, do you know what? Let my opponent have the problem and look where the black is as well. So, again, more crafty, coy thinking from Craig Lakin. Showing everybody here he does actually have a little bit of restraint and a little bit of order in his brain, apart from just crash, bang, wallop. Good to see. Yes, Callum plays 7-6 Lakin now. Uh, Lewis Healy enjoying this. Go on, you fudger. <laughs> Ryan Bodsworth looks a little bit uh, just bemused, really. Probably can't, but looking at the way things have turned and swung around, all of a sudden, Lakin's fudging him. He's playing tactical, and he probably never expected this, and there's quite a lot of you at home that will probably say the same as well. But if anybody was wondering, uh, Derby man Lee Mannion beat Mark J. Base Barstaple 11 3. So Lee Mannion still in the winner's side. Not sure who he plays tomorrow. Uh, Jack, I'm sure you can get it up on the Q score to see who Lee Mannion's next opponent is. No problem, we'll have a look. Lee Mannion running out an 11 3 winner. Uh, so he moves into tomorrow's draw. Matchroom Mannion. I think we need to just go back up the screen. It's probably on the previous page. No, it'll be. Did he win his first one or lose his first he, one? He won his first one. He hasn't played a second one. Well, winners of round one. Uh, so who does he play? 32. Uh, Lee Mannion plays Jordan Shepherd. Ah, he plays Jordan Shepherd. Two o'clock. There you go, everybody. Lee Mannion against Jordan Shepherd. Shepherd, I've heard, he's a very worried man tonight. Lee Mannion's a man on a mission. <laughs> Who did he play first? Uh, Mark J. Bast Mark J. Bar Bastable. Bastable. Ba Bastable. Bastable. Sure, it was Bastable, but it's Bastable. It is. <coughs> okay, moment of truth coming up in a minute. As I said earlier on in this frame, when Craig Lakin dipped out on the red to the bottom right, it's all about that yellow. Next to the red, at nearest the right centre on your monitor, on your screens. It's all about that. You know, he's awkward here, slightly bridging over a ball, yellow into middle. But he needs to get through the white here and perhaps try and finish on <coughs> the yellow uh, nearest the blue spot in such a way with an angle. That doesn't look bad, is he got it? Uh, I think he's not straight enough. Just not quite straight enough, but... I'm not too sure whether he can run this one in, run past the yellow and play the yellow off the cushion just before the green corner pocket, sliding off the red. 
But again, even the, the back double wouldn't be on should he make that shot. Because the red's in the way of the black to back double the black. Can't double the black into the bottom right neither. So it's a bit of a little bit of a puzzle to solve here and exactly how he's going to take these out. Who's on fire, Matt Holland? Yon on fire. <laughs> Oh, he's played it. He's trying to nick it off the yellow and it hasn't gone in. Oh, he may just have surrendered the frame doing that, but where the black is, it's, it's no no foregone conclusion, that's for sure. Kind of get the feeling this is one of those important times where even if you don't need to finish these first time, and I think Craig Lakin realises that, he's having a look. But actually, he's changed his mind. He looks to me like he's having a look. He's probably at that black. Lash the red in and go down and bring the black into play. Here we go. No. No, he's changed shot and he's just decided to get on the red. So is he now going to play to free the yeah, black? Yeah, I thought, well, is he going to do like it this year? Yeah, it looks like up. he's going to try and draw it down. Here we go. Oh, he's missed the black by fractions. Oh, just... Well... He's got the saving grace that that's a big pocket. Yeah, he can still get through to the red. Need to good positional shot oh, though now. Sorry, I couldn't see that. Hold up. Oh. oh. Well, he's all right. He's actually got an angle. If he cuts this in, he can make this off two cushions, you know. He's got this With side. He's got this white ball on a yeah. nose. I think he can get over behind the black. Two cushions. It's there, you know. He hits Absolutely those with so much authority. Monster, monster shot down the rail there. Wow. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, Jack. But that's but he hits them like that. Seb plays them the same. Yeah, crazy. There's none of this just trying to feather it, roll it down the rail. No. Give it a, no. It's at that speed, Jack. Yeah. It's either in yeah. or it flies or off the jaws and takes near, off. Yeah. Yeah, it totally. takes off like Jenks taking off when he's hungry to the kebab shop in a big <laughs> hurry. The most prestigious Turkish fan salesman in all of the southwest of England. I dare anybody to Turkish step up to that task. Task. Has he got a new title, Turkish fan salesman? <laughs> yeah, he is. He's told me that <laughs> that's the next move. If the pool doesn't work, Brilliant. get himself a small van and have that big smiling face of Jenks on the side of the van. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, who could? Who could? T the kids would be rolling up for that kebab. Yeah, definitely. Jenks' a smiling face. Forget the the ninety nine ice cream and a flake. Jenk serving beautiful hot kebabs and going, chilli sauce? Yeah. I mean... How about, how about some of these pickled chilies on there? Absolutely. You know, look, he's got one of those lovable, likeable faces of Jenks. Yeah, I think he'd definitely. make a fortune. I really do. And he's one-liners, humouring the customers. I mean, yeah, true. He didn't get any better than that. You know, service for the smile. And knowledge, knowledge personified about chilli sauce and what the best <laughs> kebabs are. <laughs> Oh, um, sorry, did I, did I forget to mention? And pizzas as well. Back to the action. Okay, uh, Ryan Bodsworth in the balls. Craig Lakin leading eight frames to six. Ryan Bodsworth could dearly, dearly do with uh, getting a break and a run or to run this rack right now and reduce his arrears. And there's a good chance here. They're there. He just earlier on just seems to have lost his way a little bit. But I think some of that can be put down to the type of frames that we've had to play and the way Lakin's engineered some of those frames. Jack will be nice and slowed things down and yeah, sort of definitely. knocked Ryan off his stride. Don't you think so? I think yeah, because yeah, Ryan was looking quite confident to begin with. He was, yeah, yeah. earlier on. He's a good, a good swag about the table for me. Yeah. And uh, when he is getting a look in, it's normally from a, a not a very nice position. Although he's definitely got an just opportunity uh, here. Which yeah, work could have done with being a tad straighter. But he's okay, I think, just about. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, should be all right. Just drop the yellow in and no yeah. real follow work to be done here. Follow it off the cushion slightly. Just off it could through, do if you wanted to, but I think you could just drop this in dead weight or just run it through six inches. Or do that, use the cushion, if you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. 
You could have got closer to it if you're going to use the cushion, though. A little bit more gear and get a bit closer, but they expect him to make this. He's made it. Good shot. Good responses from Ryan Bodsworth. Okay, reduces his arrears uh, after a, a losing streak of four frames on the bounce and breaks and dishes. The timely intervention there to stop the rut. So it moves to within one frame, so Craig Lakin to break. Just want to give a big shout out to a couple of the sponsors here that are on that Craig plays and wears for myself included: Gill Factory Pool Promotions, uh, Jarrow MOT Centre, and of course our own, the home of Derby Pool, the Corn Exchange Sports Bar. But that's a poor break-off shot, and he could have sold this frame. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure he has sold this frame. Look at them reds. I can't see anything other than Ryan just tapping these in and going eight all. That's a poor break off shot from Craig. Ryan did one into the opposite corner a couple of racks, a couple of breaks back. A lot of people. Uh, A lot of people still up. Big shout out to all of the people uh, that have stayed up with us tonight uh, to watch this. I know it's getting late and we're into 1 a.m. now, 10 past, well, 12, 13 minutes past one. So I want to just give a big shout out to everybody that's still with us on the stream and, and commenting and enjoying the action. Thanks very much for staying with us. And uh, back to the action. Ryan Podsworth uh, in after a break dish to go 8-7. Uh, Craig Lakin has just scratched straight into the green corner pocket off the break and really just left Ryan with the simple task of just dropping the reds in. Do you see this guy in 10 over, Jay? Could do. The way this is going, I thought with Craig winning four on the bounce, but it was a timely intervention for Ryan to break, get a decent split and dish. And of course, Craig scratching there. Uh, Dan O'Rourke's just joined me in the commentary position here. I was happily sitting away for the last hour. I've been yeah. up all day. I'm struggling. You're struggling, are you? It's been well, a long day. Well, I got in at 2am yesterday. Uh, I was up at 7. Okay, so the it's been a long day. I didn't, I didn't get up till about... Well, I don't know, 11 o'clock today. Uh, I had a late one last night at about 1, 2-ish. So I had a bit of a lie-in and then obviously I went for a bit of practice uh, at the club yeah. and uh, made my way up here tonight about half past seven. Well, about eight o'clock I got here. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I was speaking to Jacob last night. I had rugby training down in Kent and then yeah. got home. Just this red and uh, uh, simplest, simplest uh, rolling. But it should have been easier had he have run through another inch or two to make it straight. Wouldn't expect him to miss it though. Doesn't have to do anything with the wide, just pot the ball. Yeah, there could be Tobias Fault. There could be another good friend there, Tobias Fault. Hope you well. Saw him last week playing uh, Tony Alpin. Played, so one, played one patches, the kids. Uh huh. It's eight apiece, and it's Ryan Bodsworth to break. Uh. Craig will be kicking himself there, scratching on that last one. But I think it is what it is sometimes. Uh, you know, he's broke pretty fairly well, Craig, to be fair, in the match. Look, he's had one or two drives, but I don't think he's scratched any other time. So that's no, they've, one mean, e they've done one each in the last couple of breaks. Uh, Ryan's done one into the yellow corner pocket, and Craig's done one then mm. into the green corner. No, he's just going dry. Is he dry? Yeah. He's it dry. Is. I mean... Also, I've, I've I just uh, Dan. I've just got to take this moment to end. the oh most uh, prestigious Turkish kebab salesman in all of the southwest of England has just joined me to my right. He's giving me the Reggie Gill finger. I thought that was a George Tierney finger. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the Reggie Gill finger. Trust me. Right, George Tierney just made it even more famous by using the finger oh. and pointing at oh, Gallo to you say, want. "You shouldn't have backed against me. You shouldn't have fell asleep in that kebab shop." But you know. <laughs> That was a good night out after. Uh, Sam Jones, first oh, game from I, I 9 o'clock. Do you know how you say you're tired today? 
Ooh. I was exhausted. I think I felt that. F so that you know when we left Donna's wed wedding, we'd got on the ferry. I'd thrown up on the ferry because I got seasick. Yeah. I'd been up the whole day. I was struggling as it is, and I come out on the beers with you lot after. Oh dear. And then me and Rob I'll end up walking across Dublin to get back to the hotel. Business end of this match, then yeah. back to the action. It's essentially a first to three now. Well, yeah, technically, if you like, a best of five, yeah. Massive moment, this. Uh, George Bowen playing for Folkestone down in South East Kent. London three this year. About nine o'clock, Sam Jones, I think. How's your pace? He's got the right weight on it. He will just play this yellow yeah, middle. That looks okay. Well, he'll just play. He will just play the pattern. He just needs to. Uh, no, he just needs to drop the yellow in and run yeah, down. That's what, no, he doesn't even need to run it down. To be fair, he could drop into this. But just drop into it and uh, yellow goes to the corner. He wants to right angle on the last yellow to get onto the black. Yeah, he wants to stay the top side. He, he maybe even just screw it back. Just for me, time. if the yellow goes into the left ear, right middle, as you're looking up the table, there. If that yellow goes past the reds into the middle, he can. Ideally, drop this yellow and he'd want to be, but I'm not sure. No, that's tight, Reggie, to be honest, mate. No, I, think, it, I don't think it does. I think Lakin will... Oh, he's fizzed out a bit. Oh, okay. No, that's a great shot. Yeah. Super shot by Craig. And he's got the right angle yeah, now. Yeah, that's Straight right. That's what there. I was on about. It's all about being on this ball in the right way to give yourself a chance Just to get on that, it. Just that drop awkward onto it. black. <gasps> oh, they're big, you know. They're big. There's a smile on Craig's face. That happened earlier. A little smile over to Ryan. Ryan's laughing. Lovely to see between the players that it really is, even though Ryan has. <laughs> Do you know what? That happened. That happened on the um, Simo game. I, don't know, I know you were busy, obviously, playing Boyle, but Simo had a very similar one in the top right corner. And it rattled and then dropped away, but. That's how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I saw that where they thought it wasn't going to drop against him because I watched some of it, and it's amazing to let some of the balls that have dropped, but then at other times they don't drop. See, I said I've said this from the start because obviously I've been sitting on the commentary or listening to the commentary and doing the computer all day. I find, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that have agreed with me. Um, yeah. These pockets are playing like nine ball, but they're taking a quite a lot. Yeah, because of the new cloth. New cloth. Sheppy played a shot earlier where this similar to where this yellow is now okay. on um on the left bottom left hand side. Yeah. Pa roughly around that area where he's hit the cushion, still bring it down and it's got knuckle, 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 then dropped. Right, okay. And there's been a few where they've rolled them up. Um It's, it's yeah, it's put the sorry, one second, we just it's Craig Lake in nine eight, not Ryan Bodsworth. It's Craig it's the Go wrong up. way round. Oh, it's done it. Someone's. Sorry about that, guys. I think Dan uh, Dan's get a little bit fatigued here. He's oh, no, 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 no. It's someone. Jacob hasn't updated it on here. That's why. Oh dear. Uh, we'll get that corrected in a second. No, it's already done. Cheers, Reese. It's already done. Just okay. But yeah. Well, it is on Jacob the main uh, monitor, but it isn't on ours. But it doesn't really matter. He's bald like you. Oh, it's done now. Uh, yeah, okay. it's done. Yeah, well, it is, it, oh, it is a slight technical thing. It's just moving a couple of boxes, but we're not doing it right now. Yeah, they're just playing big, Lee Ross, because when the cloth's new, they slide in, and obviously, uh, so it obviously it makes people think when a ball hits just before they don't think, oh, he's missed that, but it's still sliding. Mm. It's um, <laughs> he's playing the double, ain't he? Is it that soft? I like that clever shot again. It's uh, obviously not quite odd enough, but it's a clever shot in the sense that he's pushed the red into an awkward position. So, you know, uh, he didn't get both part of the job right. Obviously, he wanted to cover the bottom right corner to stop the obvious opening pot for Ryan Bodsworth, as it is. Ryan can pot this red into the bottom right and get started. And all of the other reds go bar the two that are closest to the white. So... And he's got some. This is he's a, got some a good off going. chance here. Yeah. To draw level. No. Wow. And we were saying these pockets are playing big, but not that big. I just, 
I don't know if he had m- that much of a pocket to aim oh, into. Craig Lake and then uh, Craig Chat. Well, a decent chance here. To be fair, Reggie, he has it a knuckle on that more yeah. than anything. Um, no, Lee Ross, you're right. You shouldn't be hitting a cushion twice and still going yeah. in. It the question is, Lakin needs to get back down and behind that yellow to make it a search with the skilly and you'll have a shot at the black. I think that's why he didn't do it then, because he knew there was a big element of risk. It's a great it's a great chance that's presented itself on the back of Ryan missing that red. It was an unexpected miss by Ryan. Reggie. Yes, if mate. You're, if you're Lakin now, this yellow you're going to play to the corner. Are you going to look to screw it and try and play the skill shot? No, 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 no. You're going to pot. The, he's going to look to screw pot the yellow that's nearest the yellow corner pocket. Yes. Screw the white down somewhere to the left of the pink spot towards the, but near the black spot okay. to leave yourself relatively straight on the last yellow and, and play it as a skill okay. shot. And of course, draw the white back maybe six, eight inches for a straight black to the left centre. Here we go. How's your phone? Doesn't want to snooker. Doesn't want to snooker. No, nah, he's fine. Ah, he's okay. He's all right. That's but he's not, not on that, he's not on that dead straight angle. He That's should be. He's not dead straight. But Does it still go? Is it oh. there? It's there. He's played it well. Just hit it that extra bit harder. What a great shot that was because that struggled to go in. If he'd hit that a bit softer, it wasn't in. But the extra pace. That's what we're talking about. The most prestigious Turkish kebab salesman. Telling you there in the background, I'm sure you heard the shout out. Now that's what we're talking about. Money making Laking on the hill. 10 8. Ryan Bodsworth got it all to do. Just that half mistake there on that red. Unexpected. Just didn't give it the, quite the attention. Yeah. Exactly. If he doesn't cover it, if the red's just to one side, it makes that skill shot so much harder. Right, Bods was to break. Here we go then. Frame 19. He's made a ball. In fact, he's made two and uh, this is a nice split. I'd expect a break and run from these. These are split very well. Just a matter of keeping hold of the white. And I know I've said that many times tonight, but that's, that is at this stage all that's required. Just keep hold of the white. There's no cannons needed. They're all there. It's just about plot the path and just stick to it and keep hold of your white. Easier said than done under these circumstances, believe me. Okay, doesn't want to be straight. Is he a bit straight? Should be okay, even if he is straight. Could run this through and still play the one towards the bottom left. Or draw the white back and play the one to the bottom left to leave himself an angle. Pot the one into the bottom left, run round the back of the black spot and out into population between the two reds. How's your pace? Ah, could have done with being harder. Angle was perfect, the line was perfect, but another 18 inches maybe, 20 inches of pace, it right in between the two reds is where he wanted to be. The angle was there. But he's still got this red up into the top corner. Can recover the situation, a decent pot needed. It's there, you know. Great shot, so just this red then. Reggie, why obviously he's waiting for this to go, f like just put this red here. Just obviously for anyone wanting to know, uh, Ben Davies is 8 3 up on John Turner. Okay. And Scott Gillespie is 5 2 up on Dean Wilson. They're the only other two games on at the moment now. And this has just gone 10 9. 9. But I expected a break and run off that, off the way those balls split. It, Ryan Bodsworth would have been very disappointed if he didn't dish them up. And he's got them, so he stays, you know, in this match. Craig Lake to break then. Frame 20, or possible 21. Has he made a ball? Yeah, he's Has he made a ball? He's potted. He's made a ball. He's in first. And these ain't gimmies. But he'll just be happy at this stage to be in first. Mm, Reggie, as the most but prestigious man in eight ball pool. Sorry? As the most prestigious man in eight ball pool. If you're at the table, why are you taking these out? Sorry, mate, just speak up. How are you taking these shots out? With all your knowledge. 
How about these shots? Yeah. Well, I'll be honest with you. If I'm at the table here, I'm playing the shot that he's playing now because it's the obvious ball to gain some sort of good position. Obviously, he could have played for at least two, possibly three different balls there. Mm. He screwed up to the top of the table and he's actually, for me, gone a little bit further than he wanted to. He probably wanted to be near the green spot there to make this, you know, because now the angle is more of a case where he's got to pot this along the rail and try and get back out away from the cushion and try and land on that yellow just to, to the left of the yellow spot. So he doesn't yep. like it, it's gone too far. And of course, that's why he stopped in his tracks now and had another look. He knows the importance of the next couple of, the next 30 seconds of this visit could either win him the match or it could lose the frame and, and Ryan would be breaking in the in the decider. So, important time here. No, and, and that's uh, quite simply the result of what I said. A poor positional shot has cost him that. And he's left dropping for me. Poor positional shot was the reason for that miss. Disappointing for Lake in uh, that good chance there. Gone begging in my, in my, from where I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ross Dunbar. He raised the butt of the queue and tried to fly it in the other way. And, but it was all because... The, the previous shot was a poor positional shot. Well, you never know, uh, Ross, maybe, but uh, there's still a bit of work to do yet. And he hasn't landed the best here. You know? You can't see the facial expressions, but trust me, here we go. A minute ago when he was stood up there, not best pleased with that last shot, but he's recovered the situation well. Good shot. Ah, the red's just got into that naughty land. He's, he's looking, didn't get the cannon he wanted, and that red's now somewhat trapped. I don't believe it. No, it doesn't pass to the bottom left. So, a lake in there in your picture. Ah, dear, again. Chasing this now. It's a pot this and land on the right angle for the red down into the bottom right. How's his angle? Here we go. That's pretty good, you know. He can pot this now and run through towards the yellow, nearest the bottom right, and leave a straight red to the middle. Oh, he's almost missed the red again. He's wiped his feet, but it's there. Wow. Tens it is then, and that, that poor, that careless positional shot for me. All that table to screw up into and gone too far has cost him that frame. A uh, good finish by Ryan Bodsworth, take nothing away from him. That's all you can do is if your opponent makes a mistake, then you have to punish them. Uh, Tom Casty, no, not for... No, not tonight. This will be the last one on stream tonight. Mate, it's been nine and a half hours of filming. It's another hill Absolutely. hill. Absolutely. Uh, I'm ready for my bed. I'm sure Reggie is. Uh, yeah, I think I've got a, a little bit of a trek to uh, staying with a good friend of mine, Matt, tonight at his place. Matt uh, Clark, senior referee. That's also here, so we've got yeah. a bit of a drive back to his. But yeah, more yeah. than happy to go there. It's a good friend, and uh, we've got I'm sure we'll be made to feel very welcome there. So yeah. better than staying in a hotel, in my opinion, to stay with friends. I thought it was a sleeping bag. Oh. No, mate. There's no. Sli <laughs> well, no. I mean, the thing is, I've, I've got, I've got options, and I, I could, I could use a sleeping bag. I could crash on the sofa. I could do anything All I right. want to. But the main thing is, being in the hospitality of a friend's house, is oh, of course. better than being in a hotel room by yourself. In my yeah. opinion, don't you think? Because you now have a laugh and a joke when you're surrounded by people you know. Yeah. In a hotel room, it's four walls and you. 
nothing to do but to either get totally uh, if you like well no let's not let's keep it sensible you can get totally drunk and fall to sleep that way when you're in a hotel room or just go to sleep yeah but it's pretty boring either way on your own mm, so I'd rather be in someone's house to be quite honest yeah Oh, that's all right. Big Laking ch- in chance. first then on the reds. Big chance. Key shot coming up right now then. Needs to disturb that yellow near the pocket. And especially as a dry break as well. Here we go. That's a good shot. To be honest, my friend's oh, game over. Nice bit and look. He's oh. red. The yellow's just gone over and covered the red. Ah, oh, Jesus, frustration. Could he not play this red to the middle with a bit of... No, because it, there, there's, the thing is, you can pot the red to middle, but ultimately, he hasn't got the angle to disturb the yellow that's on top of the red, just to the, well, to the left on top of the red. So it's either you make a decision here to pull the trigger and keep going and try and... Now he's walking around, obviously, he's having a good look at this because he knows the importance right here. It's 10 all, no second chances. I think the thing what I was going to say was maybe Lake and just trying to force it across a bit of... Well, no, it, all it was, he, when he played the red into the corner, he's got to move the yellow because the red that's now, if you like, where it's closest to his hand. So, oh, here we go. I tell you what, that's a great shot. That's freed the red. Okay, I know it's not an easy, it's still not that straightforward, but at least it, that red is a potable now. It's in a potable position. Yeah. What an effort that was. Oh, no. Great shot. He fizzed it around. <sighs> okay. Needs to judge the cannon here. Hold up, where's the white? Oh, it's not too bad, but it's getting harder by the second. This is. Because naturally, if he pots this red, this white's going to be pushing up towards that middle right. Where, uh, m- the middle right. That's pocket. not the problem. Now, the problem is the red closest to no, the I white's know. gone behind the yellow. What, what? And the problem is, if you pot the red into the bottom right and go up for the one near the middle, you would need to play such a... Pre- and if you don't have the right angle on that pot, I you're going to snook yourself on yeah, the last no, red course. closest to the white. That's what I mean. He's got. He's now, nah, instead of it being a, a genuine he's in, finish... He's in, he's in a spot of other here, trust me. He needs, he needs something here. I think the way for Lake him... And if he is going to look at trying to play the finish, he's playing the reds, trying to get that white just up towards that middle pocket and leaving himself just the angles that he can play it. Pat, okay in the evening. And screw it back as well. Christian Phillips joined in as well. How are you doing, Christian? 365 on Facebook and a few hundreds on their YouTube. Those two in the black and white. No. Uh, that's a... Uh, what are you... He said, what about those watching That's, uh, black and white? Lee Mannion and Callum Nutt. Uh, Tom Cassidy. <laughs> the beard to be feared. Callum Nutt. Do you know what? Under the circumstances, that's not a bad shot. For me, that's not a bad shot. It's a clever shot because I think if he just carried on there, he could have hung himself and literally just handed the frame to Ryan. As it is... He's got still a good shout in the frame. Ryan's got... Ryan's not going to have it all his own way, so to speak, where it's going to be an easy takeout and just keep snookering your opponent because they've got one ball left. So, if anything, it was the right time for Lakin to play that shot, to pull out and give himself some sort of shout in this frame. Seven yellows to play the three reds, but one of the reds is in a good position. He's looking to just... Hold up, go off the knuckle and hit the red. Oh, he's missed the red altogether. Fair. Wow. I think the white's rolled off. Either the white's rolled off or he's totally misjudged. Or no, maybe he, he's he, he, what he was looking to do was come off the knuckle. Yeah, obviously it hit the red, but he's just he, not he, judged he, it. He's misjudged nah, it. He's misjudged I think the white rolled out, personally. I can't see him missing it by that much. I think that could be that. A 
That's a good shot. It's got on the awkward yellow. Straight off the one behind the black. It's got on that awkward yellow, so there's uh it's just potting balls here, just dropping balls in. There's no degree of difficulty here about this. There's no traffic from the reds. They're still got to get them though, even at this stage. Key shot coming up if he takes one down the rail. This is the frame, the money shot. It's there. This black. It's there, eleven ten. Very disappointed. Uh Craig will be with that, but at the end of the day, well done Ryan Bodsworth. Took his chance and uh run the last three to win from ten eight, eleven ten. So well done Ryan Bodsworth. Disappointment for Craig Lakin, but I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him and like one or two others that have lost in the winner side will have to now make their way back through the loser section tomorrow. But thanks very much for everybody to tuning in today uh, to uh, uh, Elite Late Ball Streaming. It's been a long day, some good matches, and there'll be plenty more action tomorrow and over the next day and a half, two days, till the conclusion on Sunday when we'll be crowning somebody the champion. Whatever time that may be at, we don't know. Hopefully it won't be too late and we'll get through the draw at a sensible hour. Well, reasonably sensible. So, yeah, what's the first time in the morning? Jeff, uh, 12 p.m. 12 p.m., midday. Yeah. Right. Okay, it's Jeff Allen tomorrow on the table. Local home lad, home favourite here at Murphy's uh, on the table tomorrow. And that's at midday, 12 p.m. So everybody can have a few hours now, a good night's sleep, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow at midday where Jeff Allen will be on the stream playing his match. So it's good night from me. Thanks very much for tuning in, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks very much. No night. Just stay tuned for a minute. There'll be an interview with the winner. Just, uh, they're just checking a bit of the table to see whether there's a roll. So, last stream game of the evening, we're with uh, the winner. How you doing, mate? All right. Bit, bit of pressure in that last one. Obviously, that was a pressure shot. You can see Seb playing it just behind you now. Um, for him to miss it by that much, how much was that an impact to you, thinking, I know I've got a massive chance to clear and obviously go through to the winner's round one tomorrow? Yeah, I feel a bit sorry for him because it, it did roll off, to be fair. And I did still have to knock the balls in, but... Yeah. I feel a bit sorry for him with that because he's not really had his right chance, has he? And obviously, you were leading for the first part of the match, and then Lakin took a few on the bounce, and then you were what? It was something like eight. You went eight all, went 10 8 down, and then you had to take three on the bounce. How much do you think that impacts you when you're playing the game? <laughs> it's just momentum, isn't it? Right, it's just Thank you for that, my friend. <laughs> all right, man. Um, it's just momentum. He's. When he gets on a roll, it's really hard to stop. And luckily, the ball's broke quite nice for me at the right times. And 
somehow managed to win. You give me some chances early doors. I think I think he'd give me more chances than he usually would. And I could have been a bit further ahead. And then once I got behind, I thought, to be fair, that he'd won it. And the ball's just broke nice for me. Well, obviously, you've done well to stick in the whole game. Obviously, the pressure told. Um, and it was a very nice clearance to win it. But well done. And we'll see you back on tomorrow.